Hi, I'm Luke with Thunder Creek Equipment, coming to you from our factory here in Pella, Iowa. And on this video, we're going to talk a little bit about diesel exhaust fluid. But before we talk about the fluid, we're going to talk about why we're even using this stuff in the first place. And so really where it starts is back in the 1990s. Uh, the EPA conducted a study about pollutants, and they identified that diesel engines were one of the leading polluters in the U.S. and that they were going to require the engine industry to, to clean themselves up. And so uh, the EPA put out their tier emission standards, which was a five-step process that the engineers, uh, the engine manufacturers rather, would go through from 1996 through 2014 to decrease the emissions output in diesel engines. Um, 1996 started with tier one, if you can remember back to that, and 2014 will we'll end the program with tier 4B. Now what they're trying to do is really focusing on two uh, exhaust outputs, and that's particulate matter and NOx. Particulate matter is, is the unburned fuel or carbon that we see as smoke coming out the exhaust pipe. NOx or nitrogen oxide is, is the gas that comes out of combustion and they attribute to causing acid rain. Now these regulations are for all diesel engines on highway and off highway between 174 and 750 horsepower. So it covers a lot of different industries, a lot of different applications. But the thing to realize is that this has, from tier one to tier four B, reduced the emissions out of a diesel engine by 100 times. That means a diesel engine manufactured in 1996 puts out the same emissions as 100 of the same engines manufactured today. So you can understand what a feat this has been to accomplish. Now one of the technologies they've used to accomplish this reduction in emission is called SCR or selective catalytic reduction. And I won't bore you with the details of that, but just to explain that that technology uses a fluid injected into the exhaust system called DEF. DEF is 32.5% highly pure synthetic nitrogen, urea nitrogen, and 67.5% deionized water. It's non-toxic, non-hazardous, non-flammable, but because it's nitrogen-based, it is corrosive. So the way we handle it, we do need to be careful of. A couple other things about DEF is it can freeze. Uh, it freezes at 12 degrees and uh, prolonged exposure to heat can degrade the shelf life as well. Because of its use and its application, diesel exhaust fluid is a, is a very sensitive chemical. And so because of that, uh, ISO developed a standard, 22241, that outlines the procedures and the quality standards for not only the manufacture of the fluid itself, but also the systems for handling and dispensing the fluid. Um, and, and the reason it does that is because the chemical, like I said before, is so sensitive. Uh, as little as one-tenth of a teaspoon of chromium, zinc, uh, copper is enough to bring a whole 5,000 gallon tanker load of this material off spec. So you can see that just a little, even trace elements of these contaminants are enough to ruin an entire 5,000 gallon batch. So we talk about the sensitivity of DEF to contaminants, but, but why? Why is it so important? What happens if DEF is contaminated? Well, a couple things can happen. Uh, contaminated DEF can actually increase uh, the amount that the engine needs to use to meet its emission standards. Uh, it can cause a malfunction in the SCR system. It could shut down the equipment. Uh, it could damage the equipment, or it could even void manufacturer's warranties. Now, for 2014, this is going to be the norm. Uh, every diesel engine manufacturer in on-highway and off-highway applications is going to be using SCR and diesel exhaust fluid uh, if they're manufacturing engines in the horsepower range of 174 to 750 horse. So that means the pickups you drive, the semis you drive, the, the school buses your kids ride on, uh, the, your tractors, your construction equipment, it's all gonna use this stuff now. So we gotta learn what it is and how we're gonna handle it efficiently, safely, and contaminant free. Now, how much are you going to use is a question we often get, and that, that varies a lot. It can be anywhere from 2% to 12% of your fuel consumption, and that depends on the application. It depends on the environment. There's a lot of factors that enter in, but think about it this way. If you're in an agricultural application, if you're in a tractor or combine, and with the higher horsepower of the equipment out there in the field today, it, many applications can use 200 to 400 gallon of fuel a day. 
Well, that means that in that same day, you could be using anywhere from five to 50 gallons of diesel exhaust fluid. So the consumption is gonna be enough that you're really gonna to have to think about how to effectively and safely and contaminant-wise handle this fluid. So here at Thunder Creek, we're not only the leaders in this market, but we're also the pioneers of this market. We've been working with engine and equipment manufacturers since 2010 to make sure that our systems and our diesel exhaust fluid systems met the needs that their equipment was gonna have in the field, but also met the standards so that we weren't introducing any contaminants or providing any risk to their equipment and ultimately to your operation out in the field. And there's two ways that we do that. Number one is the materials we use. All the materials we use are ISO compliant. The stainless steel of the tanks, the, the, the DEF compliant hoses that we use, the plastics, all the way down to the fittings and the thread sealant we use on the fittings is all DEF compliant. But more important than that is how we bring fluid in and out of this system. And that's with our patent pending two-in-one pumping system. We actually use the same system to bring fluid into the tank and turn around and dispense it. We use a closed loop coupler like this, which is the industry standard coupler, to hook up to whatever source of DEF you have and pull the fluid from that source into the tank. Then you turn around in the system, you reverse the flow, put the nozzle on the end of the hose, and in that same pumping system, you push the fluid out in, into the end use equipment. And the value of that is that in there, because you've maintained a closed system and a sealed system, you're not introducing any any contaminants into the DEF. And so not only was the system manufactured compliant, but by using this system, it helps you to stay compliant so that you can reduce the downtime and the negative effects of contaminated DEF like shutdowns or increased consumption. We also have other options available. Uh, we have heaters uh, if you're in a climate that needs that. And we have just a lot of sizes and options because we understand the, the variability that, that you guys as our customers have out there and your needs for this trailer. And so we've got different DEF tank sizes, we've got different fuel tank sizes, we've got everything for every operation and budget. And at the end of the day, it comes down for us to three simple things. Our systems are compliant, they're convenient, and they're contaminant free. If you wanna learn more, visit thundercreekequipment.com. Thank you.